In this video I will review the top 3 budget microphone for filmmaking. First, Fifine C2 lapel microphone. Second, Comica VM10 Pro microphone. Third, another Fifine microphone model K688. We will discuss their pros and cons, the tasks each model is suitable for and conduct test recordings so you can hear how they sound. All the links to the microphones will be in the description, so you can check and choose the one of that suits you. Also in the description there is a link to a guide to choosing equipment. This guide will help you decide which video equipment is right for you and where to buy it at competitive prices on AliExpress. Let's start with the first option, the Fifine lapel microphone. The package includes the microphone itself, a foam vine screen, an extension cable and an adapter for the camera. Without the adapter, we can connect the lapel microphone to a smartphone and with the adapter we can connect it to a camera with a 3.5mm jack. Therefore, this microphone is quite versatile, the cost on AliExpress around $10. Despite its low cost, there are uh, no complaints about the building quality. For example, I went the wire to create a loop, which is then clamped the, the clip. The clip itself is quite tight and squeezes the wire strongly. But so far nothing has happened to it and there have been no significant damages despite frequent use over 6 months. By the way, did you know that this type of microphone is called a lapel microphone because the wire is coiled into a loop for convenient and aesthetic attachments to clothing? The length of lapel microphone cable is 1.5 meters, but is necessary, we can simply connect a 2 meter extension cable, resulting in a total length of 3.5 meters. This is actually a convenient solution because long wires tend to get stainless and to avoid this you can neatly wind and use the extensions only when needed while the main wire will tangle with frequent use. In terms of sound quality the microphone is very basic. In my opinion the sound is muffled and poorly conveys the entire frequency range. Because of this the voice sounds sound that dry and flat. You are currently hearing the sound from this lapel microphone. Please write in the comments what you think about it. But on other hand, for this cost you shouldn't expect anything else, so for standard tasks it's quite decent. Who is this microphone for? Primarily for beginner bloggers who want better sound quality than built-in microphone and at the same time do not want to spend a fortune. And for professional video makers, this microphone can be a backup option, ensuring it's always on hand and ready to be used in case the main microphone fails. Let's move on the next microphone, the Comica VM10 Pro. This is already an on-camera microphone that attaches to the hot shoe. In the kit we have a branded case, a shock mount into which the microphone is inserted, two types of wind shields for strong and weak winds, and three cables. One for connecting to a phone, the second for connecting to a camera, and the third to a computer. The availability of these three options makes this microphone one of the most versatile on the market. When connected to a computer, you have the option to voice over videos. In a detailed review I showed how to do this in CapCut, but of course it is available in most other video editors. Also with this connection you can use it for streams, live broadcasts, online meetings on Zoom, Skype and in this way significantly improve the quality of voice recording. In addition to attaching this microphone to the camera, it can be used on extension, meaning placing it closer to the speaker. Some of the videos on my channel where I shot the microphone in this position because firstly I'm not a big fan of lapel microphone, they involve a lot of hassle and every time you move away from the camera you need to disconnect them. Secondly, the closer the microphone to the mouth, the deeper and richer the voice becomes. To use it on an extension, you need an extension cable, which is not included in the kit, but you can easily buy one at any electronics store. The price of the microphone is approximately $30. For this cost we get a fairly robust metal construction and a pleasant design. Speaking about the quality of sound recording, it's better than that of the first microphone, 
but far from ideal. Low frequencies are poorly transmitted and the sound turns out dull. But again, for this price it's quite good and adequate. You are currently hearing the sound recording on the Comica VN10 Pro. Please provide feedback in the comments on what you think about the sound quality. The microphone is suitable for those who are already somewhat skilled in video filming and precisely understanding why and for what purpose they need this microphone. Because you need to know how to work with it. For example, it's a good option for reportage filming to record event or speaker audio effectively. Also, it's suitable for computer use during online calls and video broadcasts. And now let's move on the third microphone again from the Fifine company, the model K688. In the kit we only have the microphone and a 2.5 meter cable with USB-A to Type-C. To set it up you will need to separately purchase a stand to attach the microphone to the table. The link to it and the microphone will be in the description. The microphone costs approximately $60. By the way, note that the stand can only be attached to a table with an open tabletop. For example, on my IKEA table, the tabletop kind of abuts the side and the stand cannot be attached. Therefore, I installed it on a tripod with a video light using a special mount. It turned out a bit makeshift and not very convenient, but I don't come up with other options yet. To connect the microphone to the computer, you need to use the included USB Type-C cable. This way you can record sound in screen recording software, Zoom, OBS Studio, video editor for voiceovers or other software. We can also connect it using an XLR cable, which is not included as I mentioned before. With this cable you can connect the microphone to a mixer or an external sound card and then direct the sound to the camera or smartphone, depending on that you are recording. As far as I understand, to achieve the highest quality sound, it's best to use an XLR cable in conjunction with a mixer and an audio interface. But this will require an additional budget because such separate device can cost as much as the microphone itself. As for the recording quality, it is a decent level. After all, this is a specialized microphone and it excellently captures all aspects of the voice making it deep, rich and soft. By the way, this can also be a drawback because since this microphone should be set close to the mouth, in addition to the voice, it captures breathing, clicking, wheezing and other tiny sounds. Also, due to the capsule's upward direction, it effectively reduces echo and noises in the room. For whom is this microphone? It has a fairly specific niche primarily for YouTube bloggers, podcasters and streamers who know why they specifically need this microphone. And now let's compare the three microphones side by side. Now you are listening to a recording on the Fifine K688 microphone, which is right in from me. Currently the sound is being recorded on the on-camera Comica VM10 Pro microphone. Also listen to how it sounds. And now the recording is being done on the Fifine C2 lavalier microphone. In general, friends, draw your conclusion, compare the sound from this microphone, choose what suits you best, what you like the most. And if this video was useful for you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank me with a like. Go ahead, be bold and create. See you.